Okay, so for this video, we are going to solve another example of evaluating an integral using the method of integration called integration by parts. So we are going to evaluate the integral of e to the power of 2x cosine x dx. So we can see that this integral, the integrand is a product between an exponential function and a trigonometric function. Again, that's an exponential function and a trigonometric function. And from the, from the acronym, so what was our acronym? The acronym as our guide is I-L-A-T-E. Okay, so T comes before E. So we are going to let U be equal to the trigonometric function. And we are going to let e be equal to or the exponential function be the dv portion okay so we let u equals t that's trigonometric that's cosine x and the dv portion would be e to the power of 2x but don't forget to always include the differential portion here dx so for u we are going to find the differential that's du don't forget the negative sign. That's negative sine x dx. And for the dv portion, we are going to integrate that. And integrating, v is equal to 1 half e to the power of 2x. Okay? We now substitute. So that would now be uv. So that's cosine of x times 1 half e to the power of 2x okay minus the integral v du so v is 1 half e to the power of 2x times negative sine x dx okay so we rewrite that's 1 half e to the power of 2x cosine of x Take note that there's a negative sign here and another negative sign here that would make it a plus and then you put one half outside and then in the integral of e to the power of 2x sine of x dx as we can see the resulting integral is not yet integrable because it's still a product between an exponential function and a trigonometric function so we have two in this portion here, we have to, again, perform integration by parts. So it's still the same pattern. This time, we let u be equal to sine x. Finding the differential, that's cosine of x dx. The dv portion is e to the power of 2x dx. And integrating, we get 1 half e to the power of 2x. So we substitute, that's 1 half, e to the power of 2x, cosine of x, plus 1 half, bracket, that's u and v. So that's sine x, u, times v, 1 half, e to the power of 2x, okay, minus the integral of v du, so 1 half, e to the power of 2x times cosine of x dx so we distribute one half that's one half e to the power of 2x cosine of x plus one fourth we arrange e to the power of 2x sine of x and then take note there is a one half here and we are going to multiply that to the one half here and then th there is a negative sign so minus one fourth integral of e to the power of 2x cosine x dx so take note again that this is not integrable it still contains the power or the product between an, an exponential function and a trigonometric function but remember that this entire thing is equal to e to the power of 2x cosine x dx so take note that they are the same we can just combine so that's we can just 
transpose this to the left side giving us integral of e to the power of 2x cosine x dx plus 1 fourth e to the power of 2x cosine x dx leaving behind 1 half e to the power of 2x cosine x plus 1 fourth e to the power of 2x sine x plus c adding these two 1 plus 1 fourth that is 5 over 4 that's 5 over 4 integral of e to the power of 2x cosine of x dx okay that's one half e to the power of 2x cosine of x plus one fourth e to the power of 2x sine of x plus c and then we divide the entire thing by 5 over 4 so e to the power of 2x cosine x dx is equal to okay, 1 half divided by 5 over 4. That's 2 over 5. So that's 2 fifth e to the power of 2x cosine x plus 1 fourth divided by 5 over 4. Okay, that is 1 fifth. So 1 fifth e to the power of 2x sine x and this arbitrary constant divided by 5 over 4 would still be a constant so plus c so in this example this is our answer so as you can see we performed integration by parts twice so that's possible if we still get an integral in our resulting answer so we will solve example number four in the next video.